I picked up this board on clearance from Family Dollar a couple of months ago. And I'm actually using the back side of it here. I'm layering some Mod Podge onto it, and then I'm going to adhere my scrapbook paper from the Theodosia book. I use a lot of paper from that book, and you can pick that up at Hobby Lobby. And here I'm just tracing out a shape of a carrot onto a piece of cardboard, and then tracing that onto the Dollar Tree tile. I use these tiles a lot, I love them. And I just took a little bit more Mod Podge and hot glue to adhere the tile onto the cardboard. And now I'm taking my Walmart chalk paint in the color pumpkin. And painting up my carrot. This did take a couple of coats. And it took a little bit longer to dry because I'm using my heat tool and I did not want the tile to lose its shape because they will melt. And now I have Walmart paint again in the color sage. And I'm just placing that sporadically on my carrot. And now I'm taking my Tim Holtz Grand Espresso ink and going over those high highlighted areas, or raised areas, excuse me. And now I'm adding a little bit more of that sage paint. I wanted it to look really vintage. Here I have an old doily that I'm cutting up and I'm just gonna put a small piece of it at the top of the carrot. And then my greenery is actually from Hobby Lobby and I believe it's called Tears or Teardrop. I went there today and was gonna pick up some more but I couldn't find any. So I'm gonna have to order it online. I really like it because it's got several different colors of green. So I'm just gluing quite a bit of that on the top. And now I'm taking my bow dabra and a piece of muslin that I coffee stained and baked. And I'm going to make a little bow. And now I'm going to attach it to the top of my carrot. And add a button. I thought about making a tag for this, but I didn't want to take away from the carrot. Now I'm just taking my gator sander and cleaning up those edges and going over the edges with that ground espresso ink again. I just love that ink. You can also use wax or whatever else you have on hand. Or you don't have to put any at all.
just makes it look so much different when you add that ink to it. Now I'm adding a little bit more to my carrot and I am done. It turned out really cute. Thanks for watching.